Guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's BTC Gambler here. Listen guys and girls, I hope you are all well. Today I'm going to take you on a journey. I'm going to take you on a journey to explain where we are today, where we come from and what this is all about. Two years ago, I set myself a, I set myself an agenda. I was on a journey and I wanted to know, you know, having been a gambler for most of my life, you know, was it possible to beat the casino? You know, I went out on a mission to see whether it was possible. Now, if you'd have known Mr. BTC Gambler sort of two, maybe two, even three years ago now, you would know that I was very much into using uh, DiceBot, getting very excited about what you can do with DiceBot and found this thing called the DiceBot glitch, which I thought was a glitch, which turns out to be a feature and, and immediately saw the power in that. Now, what? the dice box glitch is is where if you're playing on the casino on the website and you run a strategy whether it's martingale delayed martingale pirelli whatever you're running when you run out of funds that's it it's game over okay and the only way that you can really protect yourself from those types of games is to have a really high balance and bet super super low which was not very very exciting at all so and the glitch was as soon as i discovered that the dice bot is really dumb really dumb so it tries to place a bet even when it can't so if you're running a strategy let's say for example you're paying a 49.5 percent win chance that pays at 2x on dice and then you run out of funds the dice bot continuously repeatedly tries the bet over and over again it's not game over at this stage it's still trying to gamble and if you was astute enough you could realize you could use that to your advantage and i immediately saw the value in that so if you then topped up in the background it would then continue the betting and you only need one win to recover your losses if you did the right code in the early days when i first started this i ran lots of virtual machines running dice bot running strategies and codes that you couldn't run on the website and taking full advantage of the uh, dice bot glitch because what fundamentally that allowed you to do is to play each bot as though they've got a much larger balance and then you can share like a recovery part of cost all accounts so you can play them as though they've got a much higher balance and it became uh, all like all obsessive and then, you know to the point where I, I managed to get it up to something like 20 bots but even and i've got a video out there where going back a few years now where i was actually running 11 bots and I was using DiceBot and I was running it on Duck Dice. And I was getting really, really high bet rate. And and it didn't take long to realise that this was completely and utterly unmanageable. <laughs> you know, anybody that's doing that, and there's loads of people out there that are doing that right now, will know that that's, it's a full-time job. <laughs> so it, it's really, really onerous. And, uh, and and I set about myself a mission, you know, could I could I automate that? And this was the, the formation of this system here you're looking at. It's called Alphaverse. So Alphaverse is basically dice bot. Well, it's not even dice bot. It's a, it's a bot that can run any originals games. Now, there's a couple of things that I just want to state before we move on. So to this project Alphaverse, I set myself in a mission. Can I beat the casino? That was the number one objective. And I genuinely thought I could. Now, I'm not saying you can't, but I've said it's, I've found it to be far more difficult than I imagined it could be. Now, f for the first bit I'm going to mention here, I'm going to assume, you know, you, you know that I'm referring to our Project Alphaverse. Project Alphaverse is like running hundreds of copies of DiceBot, all centrally managed with automatic recovery and it will shift funds around. So I'm playing each account as I've got a much larger balance, but there's a recovery part that gets automatically shifted around should it run out of funds. Okay, and that's fundamentally what we're doing here. And that's what Alphaverse does. Now, I know this platform won't be for everybody because it's quite complex to get up and running. Many people have attempted and some people, some people have failed. <laughs> They've attempted it and failed. Uh, and they realized they came to the same conclusion probably as I have that. You know, when you're betting at sort of over a million bets per hour, because you can see here we're betting at 1.18, which is really low, by the way, guys. Really, really low. Look at each bot in isolation. 7,000 bets, 6,000 bets an hour. I have to say that's pretty crap. 
but it is what it is okay you know the lim- limitation is not my end the limitations at the casino's end yes if you're running any form of martingale with that level of bet rate extreme events will happen on a regular basis and i've written various other codes to do complete you know to do simulation of betting data and i've taken it to such an extreme I've applied the same level of diligence that I would apply to my work ethic as I have applied to Project Alphaverse. Not all of it is publicly available yet. I do plan to make it much more publicly available, but the code isn't polished. Okay. But what I've been able to do is, is in effect, I'm so knowledgeable in this space today, guys. I know I could write my own casino. In fact, I have already created my own API server that can replicate what the casino does. And it's exactly 100% proved to be fair. So if you took the server seed, the client seed, and the nonce possession, and you checked it, the results on my API server, and you took those same figures and you took them to the casino's API uh, validity checker, you get exactly the same result. So in terms of betting simulation it is uh, basically i've created my own casino so this the level of diligence now again i said i haven't fully made that public available and i'm going to do my damnedest to make this public available because one thing i will say to you and i will say to everybody else i genuinely care i wanted to beat the casino this whole i want to be free theme that ran through everything that mr btc gambler does you know i have a youtube channel i've got twitter i've got discord yeah and at one point, you know, it was very, very lively, especially within my Discord and certainly on Twitter. A lot of that's died down a lot, uh, simply for my own fault. Because one, my YouTube channel got banned, which was absolutely gut-wrenching because, you know, that's that pulled the rug from under my feet because most of my content had been deleted. I did managed to retrieve some and I was able to put an Odyssey, but all the private videos... They're gone, guys. They're lost. But then I started again. And and I started again. But unfortunately, I started on the wrong foot. I acquired another YouTube channel that already had, I think it was 10,000 subscribers. And it had 4,000 watch hours. Thinking that was a good idea. And soon realizing it was a really, really bad idea. Because the, the level of followership and viewership just dropped. No surprise. And after speaking to a few experts on YouTube, they told me that was the wrong thing to do because it really messed up the YouTube algorithm. And so I started a new, fresh Mr. BTC Gambler 2 channel and slowly trying to build up from there. You know, I hope what I produce is useful to you guys. You know, years of knowledge and experience has gone into producing these videos. They These are not easy things to do you know my, my number one goal as i've said all throughout my videos is i learn and then i teach yeah and that's fundamentally what the channel is all about my channel is for people just like me just like you you know who like to gamble differently you know using code science maths statistical analysis and then ramping it up a gear you know like the equivalent i could say to this is it's like trying to find the tiniest crack you know in in the oh, tiniest crack the tiniest weakness within the casino and then getting a wedge putting it yanking it in there and whacking it with a sledgehammer as hard as you bloody can because that's what we're looking for this just tiniest tiniest crack and fundamentally that's what project alpha versus is all about you've got to think of it as terms of a of, is a framework it's a framework that's begging out for the right solution so before this video goes live this I've made it intentionally very difficult to gain access to Alphaverse simply because it's very, very dangerous in the wrong hands. If you go into this gung-ho, two feet first, jump straight into this, think you've got a good idea, you will 100% have your fingers burnt. And that is the last thing I want. You know, I would be saddened if you guys lost money on the back of trying to replicate what I'm doing. That is not my objective. So I do make it very difficult. There's a whole bunch of training that you have to go in before you can even gain access to Alphaverse. You've got to be a VIP member in my Discord server. You've got to sign a software license agreement to say that you're going to use it. Then you join the Alphaverse Discord server. And then you have an attempt at it and then you probably will absolutely mess it up, (laughs) I'm afraid to say, because I 
I'm seeing a lot of it and this is why I'm reluctant just to give it out to everybody but I am okay and but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it super safe so what we're running here is the infinity code we're not looking to win we're not looking to lose we're looking to wager and this is playing what we call the comp game so you 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 profit from the VIP perks rather than make trying to make a profit from uh, the actual gambling itself. And this is the safest form of gambling. Now what this is doing is a multi-stage, it's running dice, but, but given this is a framework, I think by the time this video goes live this we could well change because there's nothing stopping me saying switching the game that you're playing mid cycle so i might for example wager using just pure dice and then when i want to make a profit to increase and in, say in a different stage switch to dragon tower make a profit go back to dice wager you know and have that sort of cycle and that's what i think is going to be happening here so i've been working on a version of the code that is a multi-game strategy you know what i'm trying to avoid is those excessive loss streaks you know i have seen if you've seen what i've seen you would never ever gamble <laughs> And probably, you know, and if, if you have made a lot of money gambling, you got lucky, take that winnings and run, guys. Because, like, I've sadly seen, I've seen this, what happens, you know. I've seen the bad side of the casino. I've seen the damage it causes people. You know, there's, gambling should be fun. And you don't even gamble money that you can afford to lose that has no impact on your life at all. If you're too emotional... <laughs> Don't gamble, guys. If you've made money, I mean good money, then take that money, invest it, buy properties, do whatever, guarantee yourself a regular income, and then come back and spare that, spend the loose change back on the casino and try to build back up again. Now, we have a few members in our Discord server that have made an insane amount of money, but they got lucky, okay? And some of the wise ones, you will know who you are, have done the right thing. They've taken that money. They've gone off and they bought property with it. They've guaranteed their monthly revenue stream from it. And I say huge congratulations to you because that is the correct and right thing to do. So we've reached a critical point here because I want to show you that even just using this here. So, you know, at the moment I'm 165 bots here, 1 million bets an hour using just a wagering technique and I'm going to show you and we're at the stage now where we're going to do weekly so I'm going to collect the weekly you know and you can see the sorts of money you're going to make so uh, this made about $900 over the duration of six days so just through VIP perks alone okay it's not a huge amount of money but it doesn't need to make a huge amount of money okay I think one of the biggest weaknesses for all gamblers is greed greed would be the thing that will get most people you know everything is great everybody's got ideas <laughs> and those ones that are brave enough to execute them that's all great and everything is great until it isn't great yeah so it's a risky business very 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 risky and that's why i want to emphasize to you why it's so important that you should take profits as you go along okay your vault becomes your best friend taking profits as you go along is so important you know, if you've got something that's working, don't fix it. Just let it there. It doesn't matter if it's not exciting. Scale it out rather than scale it up. And I keep saying that over and over again. Don't increase the bet size. Don't increase your balance amount. Increase the number of bots because that's the easiest thing to do. In order if you want to win more, have more bots. It's simple. Right, I'm going to collect the weekly, guys. And uh, I will be back. And I'll speak to you soon. Okay, guys. That took me about one hour to collect the weekly reload and rate back on every account and that got me 3,563 TOX or 430 dollars which is not bad not bad guys that's pretty big considering our start balance here but so it's a little bit disappointing because around about 40 percent of the account it paid out less than one zero point zero one of one TOX on about 40% of the accounts. So it's only about 60% of the accounts that actually really made anything decent. So, and the reason that is, is because, you know, looking at the statistics on each account, it's not wagering enough. So I think some tweaking is needed. And what I want to be, and I'm not 100% certain where the cutoff point is, but I think we should be aiming at least 1,000 wagered per week. So I think some tweaking is required of this code. I think I'm wagering a little bit too low. So I think, you, you know, my mission is to, to prove, to see whether it's possible to earn a living just from the VIP perks alone. So this is the weekly, post-monthly, monthly, and rate back. 
because that's all that's got. I mean, this is incredible, guys, because you've got to understand, you know, this is part of a on longer ongoing video that is separate to this video here where I had a bit of a disaster <laughs> and I was in this position. Let me show you. I went right down to 830 TRX. I have not put any more money into this. And by simply playing this VIP game, you know, I got lucky in the time maybe because it came out, monthly came out afterwards, and I was able to get all 165 accounts back up and running again. But I went right down. I was running at 100 balance each, and I think probably that's where it needs to be around about that sort of mark. And, you know, I've built it up since then. I've reduced it down to 10 TRX, but I think it needs to be probably up there. And there's going to be a refinement to the code. And notice there was, there was a mistake in the code that did actually cause me problems. So notice that I have to pause everything while I do claim them. And once I finish, I do have to reset them. But I'm just going to point out a couple of things here that I think is going to be really important as well. So first and foremost, the amount that you get back on a weekly basis varies so much depending on the VIP level, that every opportunity you get to upgrade to a VIP level, take it. And one of the magic numbers I'm looking for is this 90% mark. Let's see if we can find any. Well, here's one pretty uh, damn well close enough. So this is on bronze level, 89%. So any account that is 90% or above, away from the next VIP level, you're safe to upgrade to the next level at no cost. And you can do that through various ways. And I will do this as a separate video. You can use Baccarat, you can use 99% win chance on dice, or you can use combination of dice and poker. There are various ways. And perhaps I will do uh, show three ways how I take an account that's 10% away from the next level. And it doesn't matter which VIP level you're at, the amount that you get back will it be at the very least equal to what it, you've spent to get there. Does that make sense? And the reason you want to do that, because the amount that you get back on the VIP on a weekly basis, uh, on a weekly, varies very much depending on the VIP level. Let's, let's run through a couple here. Let's jump out some big ones here. So you can see, you know, like, because I haven't reset anything at the moment, because they, they all started with 10 balance. Like this is Platinum 3, so that must have got 85 as a bonus for a few more. Yeah, this one here got a lot because it's Platinum 6. <laughs> um, yeah, that's one away from Diamond, guys. Uh, yeah, this one here is uh, it's Platinum 2, that, and this one here is Platinum 3. So you can see, yeah, getting up the levels really does make a big difference in the amount that you get back on a weekly basis. So I'm going to reset all this, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so now we're back up and running, and Project Alpha is a sideline task for me. I suppose the most important thing I'm going to say now is check the description of this video because the, the, the description of the video is going to have essential things in there. So, and keep an eye out for me because this, this journey continues because this is the formation of a much longer video that's probably going to take about a month to complete, to be perfectly honest with you. But I think it's going to demonstrate quite vividly it's like a journey that I'm going on and I want you guys to be part of that journey you know this is the way that Mr BTC Gambler does things so if you've gained anything insightful useful or knowledgeable in this let me know comments are the thing that mean the most to me guys so I really appreciate any feedback you get you know any comments you make hitting that like button um, is the way that you can pay me back you know I put so much effort into these videos it is disheartening sometimes when you put so much effort into the video and you only get a few hundred views on it. That's not your fault. That's my fault for, you know, <laughs> messing up on YouTube. It doesn't help. I've got two channels going up at the same time. So please make sure you subscribe to the right one. You know, obviously, if you're watching this video, you know you're in this video. So subscribe to this channel, guys, because this is the one that's going to be updated going, for, going forward. And this journey is barely started. So... There's going to be lots of links that you're going to find extremely useful. And if there's anything particular that you would like me to comment about, because I've got lots of video ideas, you know, putting them that uh, I think will be useful, but you may not. Like, I have a video in mind that I want to explain exactly how the provably fair system works in detail. You know, yeah, and I've got loads of code that I need to make available as open source. So one, I've created my own casino, build your own API server, just purely for testing, I've got Node.js JavaScript code that allows me to test at 400,000 bits a second. So immensely useful tools. If you've got ideas and you want to test them on mass, I have betting data with millions and millions of bet results stored in a JSON format that I'm going to make open format using the game Dragon Tower so that you can mass test ideas. 
Okay, and I've got some code around that as well. Again, none of this has been released into the public domain at the moment. You know, I have a day job, but I've also been busy in the background as well doing stuff. And I've got projects, I would say, juggling lots of balls at the moment. And none of it's really complete. So I haven't really produced a lot of content because I don't have much to say. Uh, but I have got a lot to say, but it's just not complete. <laughs> so please bear with me. Please bear with me the fact that, you know, I do this as a hobby and... Yeah, I do have a full-time job as well. And I've got lots of ideas that I think is going to be useful to you guys, if only if you want them. So please like, subscribe, comment, feedback. It's important because that encourages me to do the videos. When I don't get much feedback, when I don't get, you know, get much comments, it kind of disheartens me. And uh, yeah, I do sometimes wonder why the heck do I bother? Because I put so much effort into these videos. It is very, very disheartening. Um, you know, to only get a few hundred views on a video. That's just, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to waffle on. I do want to end the video here. And um, I'll speak to you all again very, very soon.